Welcome to another class of trigonometry. Now, seeing this question, some of you will just say, this is not normal software x. If you use the method of the software x to just solve this, you may not get it. Now, I'm going to divide this class into the AND method and the calculator method. Now, if you are asked to find the x for this question, now, let us quickly solve with AND method first. Now, if you want to solve this using AND method, let us substitute this to be a, or yes, to be let's say alpha, and substitute this to be beta. Now, if this is alpha and this is beta, that shows that alpha plus beta is equal to 7 pi over 4. I substitute that inverse. That means the tan inverse of 3x is equal to alpha. Now, everybody, you believe with me that if tan inverse of 3x is equal to alpha, that shows that 3x is equal to tan alpha. Don't forget, I drop this back to the behind. It's obvious. You know, if you have tan theta to be equal to 3x, if you want to make three, theta dissolve your formula, or, you understand, if you want to make theta dissolve your formula, that will be equal to tan inverse of, what, of 3x. That is it. So I return it. So now, check this. If you have tan inverse of 2x to be equal to what, beta, then that shows that 2x here is equal to what, tan beta. Now, when you check this very well, I will now see. Okay, don't forget, I subtract this to be alpha, that's why I have alpha here. I subtract this to be beta, that's why I have beta here. So it's equal to 7 pi over 4. Then, let me apply tan to both sides. The reason why I can apply tan to both sides is because the question given is in terms of tan. So I will now see tan alpha plus beta is equal to tan 7 pi over 4. And don't forget, this will now become tan tan alpha plus beta. Don't forget, tan alpha plus beta, the expansion of tan alpha plus beta on that trigonometry is equal to tan alpha plus tan beta, then all over 1 minus tan alpha tan beta. So this is equal to this one, which is tan 7 into brackets 180 over 4. Don't forget, I don't do any magic here. The expansion of tan alpha plus beta expansion for trigonometry is equal to tan alpha plus tan beta plus tan beta then all over 1 minus tan alpha tan beta this is the expansion now having known this don't forget that when you now press the left side on the calculator we have the tan 7 into brackets 180 pi on that trigonometry is 180 that is when you are dealing with angle then over, over 4, close bracket, you have this to be minus 1. Then if this is equal to minus 1, don't forget that we have our tan alpha to be 3x and our tan beta to be, to be 2x. So let us substitute. Tan alpha is 3x, so plus 2x, which is tan beta. Then we have 1 minus, that's 3x into bracket 2x, then everything equals minus 1. Everything here is minus 1. Then we now have this Numerator to be uh, 3x plus 2x, that's 5x, over 1 minus. If you multiply, that's 6x squared. Everything equals minus 1. If you cross multiply. If you cross multiply this, we have 5x, then to be equals to minus 1, into brackets 1 minus 6x squared. So let us open this bracket. You already see that this has turned to quadratic equation. We have 5x to be equals to Minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 times minus 6x squared as plus 6x squared. Then yeah, don't forget, in this we have we have 6x squared here, which is the sign of the 6x squared is plus. Then let me take the 5x to this side because what? Minus. So that's why we have what? Minus 5x. And don't forget, there is already minus 1 here. So everything equals there. This is the quadratic equation. Then when you try to solve this quadratic equation on your calculator, don't forget you. Go to your quadratic on your calculator. If you don't know that, I will definitely do this in the next episode. Then you check the value of the x here. Don't forget, if you write it straight like this, to be if you rearrange that, 6x squared minus 5x minus 1 equals 0. So the value of x here is equal to 1, or your x is equal to minus 1 over 6. Now, if you have x to be 1, or minus 1 over 6. Now, but what of in the case of CBT exam? 
So now let us do this on the calculator. Now, the calculator method of the question we just completed now, now you'll be surprised. Many of you will ask me, ah, why are we using the calculator method for this? We can use soft for X. Now, let me tell you, if you use the soft for X to this question, it will not work for all because I'm going to give you one exercise under this video. And the exercise says, go and do the tan inverse of 3X plus tan inverse of 2X is equal to 3 pi over 4. Now, the same question, if you see this, the same thing. Don't forget that when we did this, we got the answer of x to be, to be 1 or the value of x to be minus 1 over 6. Yes, you will not believe with me that if you pass through the same method I use here to solve for x here, for this as well, you are still going to get the same value of x. So, the answer for this and the answer for this, they are the same. But, trust me, and you can reply under the comment, if you use the same solve for x on this calculator to solve for the x of this and this, you cannot get, you can only get one, you cannot get the second one. But I have a general method that can work for the two. I don't teach my students a method that can only work for a certain rule that will not work for, the, for another one. Now, if you want to do this, in other forms, you know, imagine you have one or minus one over six in the answer. I'm going to add it. Don't forget, it's not in the option. But I want to use it to, to show you that it is correct. Now, the method I will be using is called the optional method. Now, the optional method is just to test for the option. You know, you are in the exam form. You have to be very fast with your words, with your method. And the method you are going to use now says, now, before I proceed, I'm going to introduce tan to the both sides. This is the method I want to use. I will introduce tan to both sides and I will now make sure that the option I insert in this option, in this question, that can give me the value of the left side to be equal to the value of the right side is the answer. What am I talking about? Now, I will introduce tan to both sides. Assuming the reason why I'm introducing tan to both sides, listen to me, if you press it straight like this, it will not give you the right answer, it will give you math error. Shake it. But now, I'm introducing tan to both sides. Assuming what you are giving here is tan, sign inverse, sign inverse, then you are going to introduce sign to both sides. But if it is also cos inverse, cos inverse as well, you are going to introduce cos to both sides. But here, you are given tan. So I'm introducing tan to both sides. So let us start with, let us firstly press the left side. So press tan. When you press tan on your calculator, it will, it will press this and open the bracket. Then let us now press the whole left side. You know, this is the tan I want to introduce the both sides. So I've already pressed the one for the left side. I've pressed the one for the left side, which is tan. Oh yeah, now. Then, let us press the left side now. The left side, in order for us to press tan inverse here, we are going to press shift tan. If we press shift tan, it's going to give you tan inverse like this. Then, press your three. Then when you press three, some people ask me, we don't know how to press X. Then the way to press X is to press alpha and close bracket. If you press alpha and the button of the close bracket, you are going to have X there. Then close the bracket for this. The brackets of this tan inverse you open. Close it. Then when you close it, then we proceed with this, we have plus. Then when you have plus, the next one is tan inverse. That is, you press shift tan to press that tan inverse. It will open the bracket. The tan inverse of 2, you press 2. Have you pressed 2? Then press your X, that is she, alpha, and what? And the close bracket. Then close the bracket. When you close the bracket, you know, you now close the general bracket again. That is the bracket of this tan that we open. You close the general brackets. Now, what I want to do is that I want to make sure that the option that can give me the left side value to be the same thing with the right side is the right answer. Now, what I will now do is that I will use the law of left hand side is equal to right hand side. Some people will say, ah, which one is this again? And that one is when you press, you press alpha and the button that is under the alpha. Alpha and the button that is under the alpha. Now, when you press alpha and the button under the alpha, you observe that it will give you two dots like this. Now, when you give you two dots, and let us insert the right side. The right side, don't forget that we are introducing tan to both sides. So, press your tan for the right side as well. So, press tan. Immediately, you press tan, it will open the brackets. Then, oh yeah, now, what is your right side there? That's 7 pi over what? Over 4. So, press the fracture button. When you press the fracture button, then you press 
at the numerator, you press the seven, then open the bracket. When you, when you open the bracket, don't forget the pi is, what, is 180. Then close the bracket. When you close the bracket, then come to your denominator. Come to this place. Come to the box here. Then when you come to the denominator here, then you press the value of volts of 4 here. Then come and close the general bracket here. Now when you come and close the general bracket here, then press, press. Now let us, don't press anything yet. Now when you press the general bracket, let us go to the option. Now we now insert the option. So how do we insert the option? Let us do it one after the other. Press calculate. Calculate is the one on that sheet. It is going to give you x and question mark. Now when you press calculate, it gives you x question mark. Then let us insert the option one after the other. The first option is one over two. So press one divided by two, then press equals two. One divided by two, press equals two. You observe that it gives you the left side to because what? To, to because what? Minus five. The press equals to again. You, you are going to see the right side. And what's the right side there? Minus one. Then you observe that the value here we got is minus five. And value here is what? Minus one. They are not equal. So immediately you press calculate again. When you press calculate, let's go to option B. You press two. Then press equals two. You observe that the value you have here is minus 10 over 23. The press equals to again for the right side, you observe that this one is what? Minus 1. Are they equal? They are still not equal. The press calculate. Now let me go to the option C now. Option C, when you press calculate, then press 1 and press equals 2. Now for the 1, you add the left side to be what? Minus 1. The press equals 2 again, you observe that the right side is also what? Minus 1. You can see that the right side is equal to what? left side or sorry the left side is equal to what the right side and you can see that the only correct answer which we have solved which is one gave us the left side to be equal to what right side then press calculate again let us test this the second option in which the one we got which is equal to what minus one divided by what six you press minus one divided by six when after you press calculate the press equals to you observe that when you use minus one over six you add the left side to also be what minus one the press equals to the right side is also what minus one. Can you see that is the same thing? So the left side is equal to what right side. And if you use the option D, press calculate. Let's go for the option D. You observe that when you now press one divided by four for the option D, the press equals to you observe that your left side is equal to two. The press equals to the right side is what minus two. It can never be equal. So when you use this, you can use this to solve the question under this under this type of the word of the question. I believe you have learned something. So please and please, this is another question on trigonometry. We are still going to come with some videos on that trigonometry. So the trigonometry just deal with the fact, the way the question is structured. Don't forget, I told you in the first episode of the trigonometry that it deals with insertion methods, just be insertion. But this time around, just when you, when, when you get in touch with different questions, you know how to do with the disability trigonometry question. And I believe you've learned something today. So please like, subscribe, and comment. So please and please, I want this in the comment section. I want to know if this is, if this uh, calculator method is applicable to this formula or to this question rather, and at the same time use your hand methods to answer this with the same example I gave you. See if it's correct or not. And I believe you are going to have it correct. Thank you very much.